Hi guys, you're welcome back. Hope you guys are doing great. My name is Bukumi Bike Kran. So, Zadi Guru and Zaki Nag about Muslim heaven versus Hindu heaven. So, let's check it out. So, we, you will leave your body here and go to heaven. You went to heaven without a body. What are you going to do mm. with good food and virgins? This is what I want to know. <laughs> when you don't have a body. So I am saying, heavens will collapse. <laughs> Once people start asking logical questions, heavens will collapse. My mother says that in heaven, uh, by Muslim, uh, men get seventy-two women. Hmm? Good. Huh? Uh, Hur. But in Hur. <laughs> but uh, in Ra in Christian, we go to heaven with our family. And I want to know what kind of heaven in Muslim for women. Sister said that her father was a Muslim, mother is a Christian, that your mother brought you up, correct? Yeah. So do you interact with your father or don't you interact with your father? Do you interact with your father my or mother. No? So you live with your mother, not with your father? No. The sister said father is a Muslim, mother is a Christian, but mother has brought her up. She lived more with the mother. And mother made her a Christian, so now she's confused. Oh. Mother said that if Muslims go to heaven, then they get 72 poor, 72 women, the men. What will the women get? And yes. So as far as the first question, your second question, answer first and then come back to your first question. As far as the question is concerned, that if the men go to heaven, they'll get 72 poor, that beautiful woman, what will the woman get? The same question was asked for Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be with her, who's the wife of the Prophet. So the wife of the Prophet replied that the woman will get that which your heart hasn't desired, what your eyes hasn't seen, what your ear hasn't heard about. That means inshallah you will get something equal. What your heart hasn't desired, what your eyes hasn't seen, what your ear hasn't heard. So inshallah if you go to heaven, you will get something good which inshallah you'll be satisfied. But the question is first you have to enter heaven. If you don't enter heaven, you won't get that something which is good. Okay. Sister, do you want to accept Islam? Not right now. Fine, inshallah, go home, think about it, and get convinced. Once you're convinced, enter fast, you don't know how long will you live. It's better late mm. than never. And you don't know how long you're going to live, so my request to you is that go home, do more research, study more, and as soon as you're convinced, you come to the fold of Islam, so that you go to paradise, you go to heaven, otherwise you don't mm. go to heaven. Hope that answers the question. Hmm. A new generation is coming, young people, whose thought process, whose way of looking at life has changed in many ways. Today, for the first time in the history of humanity, more human beings are able to think for themselves than hmm. ever before. Whether they're thinking right or wrong is not a debate, but they're thinking. At one time, a scripture would think for you, a guru would think for you, an elder would think for you, one man in the village would think for you. Today, everybody is beginning to think for themselves. Once this happens, people will become in such a way, unless something is logically correct, they cannot swallow it. If you make them swallow it, they cannot digest it. This will happen. Right now, you are still a generation who is still willing to acknowledge an authority and try to digest something which is not logically correct. But your children will be such, even if God comes and speaks, if it doesn't make sense to him, then they will reject it. So well said. We are… we are just on the word of that. So this is a time, this is a good time because now we are moving to a place where only truth can be the authority. Authority cannot be the truth anymore. Doesn't matter where the authority is coming from. This evolution is anyway going to happen in the next… in my estimate, I am saying somewhere between next twenty to forty years' time, all the heavens will collapse. When I say heavens will collapse, do you know what's in heaven? You must know. In… in Hindu heaven, the food is very good. <laughs> if you are a foodie, that's where you must go. Nala himself cooks for you, the best chef. In another place, there are those white-gowned ladies who float around, legless ladies who f float around in the clouds. If you like that kind of ambience, you go there. In another place, you will encounter virgin problems. If you like that, you can go there. But what do you have to do to get there? This happened in Alabama. You heard of Alabama? 
It's a special state in America. <laughs> in a Sunday school, a Sunday school teacher was going off full on, full fire. And in his rhetoric, he asked, what do you have to do to go to heaven? Little Mary, who was sitting in the front row, said, if I scrub the church floor every Sunday, I will go to heaven. He said, absolutely. Another little girl stood up and said, if I share fifty percent of my pocket money with a less privileged friend, I will go to heaven. Correct. Another little boy said, if I help other people, I will go to heaven. Correct. Little Tommy in the back bench stood up and said, you gotta die first. <laughs> That's a qualification, you got to die first. When you die, depending upon what culture you are, we will either burn you, bury you or cut you and throw you to the birds. One thing is, if you have not done anything eco-friendly, I'm assuring you at least when you die, we will do something eco-friendly about you. <laughs> we'll put you back to earth, it's a very good thing to do. If you take this body and go away somewhere, this is the worst thing to do because you're taking away the topsoil. So, we… you will leave your body here and go to heaven. You went to heaven without a body, what are you going to do? with good food and virgins, this is what I want to know <laughs> when you don't have a body. So I am saying, heavens will collapse. Once people start asking logical questions, heavens will collapse. When heavens collapse, we have managed humanity for a long time, telling them, doesn't matter your suffering here, God is looking at everything you're suffering, one day he will reward you up there. With this we have been managing humanity. <laughs> Man, that lady's question is funny. Oh. Seventy-seven, what did she even call that thing? Is it wound or wife or what did she call it? Because it's shocking to hear that and at the same time, I love that the guru explanation. But this was an interesting video. It's just an interesting video. The one that does not sit well with me was when uh, Zakina said, "If you don't come to Islam, you are not going to heaven." So does that guarantee that every non-Muslim that doesn't let that convert to Islam is not going to heaven? Is that what they mean? I don't think so. But this was a beautiful video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.